Up next on Travelogue, the perfect balance of tradition and tourism in Shashi. I'll take you through the colourful chaos of an age-old market and dare you not to fall in love with this misty sunrise. There are very few things that will get me out of bed before dawn, but to watch the sunrise over this misty river, I would do so a hundred times. I'm sure if you were with me on this bridge, you'd agree. Well, good morning from the ancient town of Shashi. This is one of the few well-preserved ancient market towns. Now, it used to be a very important stop on the Tea and Horse Trail. Today, there are so many new bars and hostels and cafes that have opened and many tourists come to this place. Now, we're gonna head to the market and see what it's like ourselves. There's no shortage of historic sites in China, but there's truly nowhere else like Shashi. It's the country's most complete surviving example of a tea and horse trail trade station. Centuries later, the caravans are gone, but bustling trade remains. I think these must be a favourite with the kids. Look at all the different colours of the packets. You don't quite know what's inside, but then again, you don't really care. You just know it's going to be sweet and it's going to taste good. But just because something isn't colourful doesn't mean it's not worth trying. This is Ding Ding candy and it's very popular with children. It's hard and it's nice to suck on and very sweet. Now, more than a dozen years ago, what the children used to do is they used to collect um, old toothpaste um, containers, the aluminium, and they used to take them and give them to the Ding Ding Pung vendors so, and swap them for pieces of candy. Mm. Pretty good exchange, I think. Every Friday, people from the surrounding villages come to Shashi's market to buy things they need, buy things to feed, and, well, other fun items. Some really cute things here as well. Look at this! That little boy might have been partial to K-pop, but I imagine most people here prefer their music to be much like their lives. Slow in rhythm and simple, but no less colourful and lively. This marketplace is amazing. There are so many weird and wonderful things around me. I find myself asking myself, ooh, what's that? What's that? Some things are familiar, like apples or fruits. And other things, I just I have no idea if it's a food, if it's a medicine or what. But it's fantastic. So many different smells. And I really love the energy of this place. There's so many colors and there's so many types of people. There's so much to explore. And I'm not the only traveller who thinks so. Hi, so we're here with two visitors to the city of Shasi. Um, I'm Katrina, thank you for talking to us with Travelogue. Can, can I get you to tell us uh, where you're from and who you are? Uh, my name's uh, Deb and I live in Chengdu. Chengdu? Oh, great. Um, Hi, my name's Karen. I'm, I'm from the US, but I live in Beijing. Oh, you live in Beijing. Great. So, why did you choose to come to this city and um, what are your impressions so far? Well, uh, we are traveling around Yunnan. We decided to come to Dali. Um, and Dali seems to be too touristy for us, so we headed north and we came to Shashi and uh, love it so far. You're both familiar with China, living in Beijing and Chengdu yourselves. What do you think makes this place different to the rest of China or very distinct? I think? The scenery is fabulous and there's, there's beautiful scenery elsewhere in China, but, but here is particularly nice and, and the air is wonderful after the city. <laughs> I second that. The, the, there's very little pollution here and you really can breathe. Um, it's also extremely colourful and that makes a big difference. A lot of the other cities that we love, Beijing, love Shanghai, love lots of cities in China, but here it's so colourful compared to those cities. And, and the, tr the traditions are front and centre, where you don't find that in the other cities. You have to look for them in the other cities. Here, they're right there. This is the main square of the town of Shashi. You can tell because behind me is the temple and in front of me is this wonderful old stage. Now this is still the center of life in the town today. In fact, the many Bai peoples come here whenever there's a major event such as a wedding or a funeral. They come here en masse, filling up this square completely and have a major big meal and it's like the whole town gets involved. 
Shashi successfully maintained culture is more than a matter of luck. The local government is working with the Swiss Conservation Fund to ensure the town is restored as authentically as possible. So, uh, where do you come from? So, she comes from America and I come from France. You come from France and America. And you're traveling around China? Um, we live in Kunming, yeah. but, um, but we travel around Yunnan a lot. Okay, great. So, what brought you to Shashi? Mm, I'd heard a lot of friends who live in Kunming who had mentioned it a lot. They said it was a lovely place, sort of it's got an old town vibe, but not as developed as Dali or Lijiang and other places, so I wanted to go. Mm. And what do you think of it? I like it very much. Well, that is the second time I come, in fact. Uh, uh, oh, it's very well preserved and it's uh, really beautiful. Mm. Mm. The market is great also. <laughs> By early afternoon, the market has packed up and it's time to head inside for a siesta. This is a quiet alleyway on the way to our hotel and I just noticed all these markings on this particular wall. Just people leaving their initials and saying they love whoever they love. And I was just thinking it's like they want to make their mark on this town and sort of leave a legacy in a town that hopefully will last forever. I love Mm. Travel art. <laughs> Maybe time hasn't completely stopped in Shashi, but here it certainly feels like it moves a whole lot slower. Slow enough to really savour that cup of coffee or soak in the sunshine. It's so nice to finally come to the town of Shashi, especially after such a hectic schedule going from place to place. This truly is a peaceful town and it's a perfect place to reflect and to relax. I think that's what I love about this town, it gets that balance right, there's lots for tourists to come and see and do. But the locals, their lives aren't interrupted, they can live genuine traditional lives and that makes for a much better environment for both the locals and the tourists.